All right, I'll fix it and the honeybee. We're back again with the easiest how-to video ever because we want this to be so super easy that anybody will try this, no matter what. If you never play the guitar or never whatever, you just think you can't do it, well, I think you can. We're gonna try and make this so easy that you can. All right, the last video, we did a little bit of uh, tuning. You get your guitar, you tune it up, and start your first song. I think we had a cheap G last time. And this time, we are going to quickly, I'll show you how my guitar tunes up. I have my glasses on, I can read this thing. Okay, tilt it my way a little bit. I just strum a string and watch the needle on there, strum another string, another one, another one. Now if this was out of tune, see it would, I just tune it back up. Whoops, okay, now let me see that again. There, exactly right on. Now, since that is an E string down there, and then up here it says E when I play it. And the needle goes up to the middle. That's how it works. Okay? Alright. Now, we put this down here. And look at our notebook. This is uh, cheat sheets. And you make a cheat sheet out of uh, just typing out some letters, what the song you want to play, and put a... Uh, letter up there for the chord you want to play when you want to change you put your your chord in and make yourself a nice little notebook like that to, to play on all right now we're gonna start with a chord the D chord we're gonna make it so easy that sounds nice when I play it Sounds nice when she plays it, but when you play it, it's going to sound like doo-doo. That's okay. We're going to help you, and we're going to make it right. Here's the deal. The D chord, the little string down here, the E string, you push that down on the second fret with this finger right here, and then you're going to skip the string and go up to the third string, and you put it down. Oh, I got the wrong finger on it already. This little... <laughs> Okay, so the middle finger actually pushes this one down. And this one over here skips a little up there. Now this finger is going to come into the third fret and play the one in the middle. And when you play these, don't play this big fat string. It only sounds good when you play these bottom strings. Alright. So, and the first time you play it, it ain't going to sound like that. It's going to be all muffled, it's going to do something like that. That's okay. You just keep working on isolating so that you one finger pushes one string down and it doesn't touch and buzz on the next string and, and eventually it'll be like that. I don't care who you want to talk about, Eric Clapton or Glenn Campbell or whoever you like that, that ever is good at the guitar. I guarantee you the first time they ever picked up a guitar and tried that, it sounded kind of funky because everybody has to learn and practice to get it right. All right, so D chord, play the bottom one, and then I'm going to show you the next chord. You take this off, and you these two fingers, you're going to move them up one string. So you just move them up one string, push it down. There's your A7. Play D and the A7. What you want to do is practice to where you can go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. When you can do that, go back and forth, you're ready for a song. And you can switch back and forth between those chords. We're going to start with this uh, easy kid song called Hurry Hurry. It's fun and it only has two chords. 
So here's how it goes. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Now if you'll notice, the honeybee over here is not playing the chords on that. She was playing the melody. So this is the neat thing. If you guy, if you get a partner and learn together, then you can practice back and forth, one playing the melody, one playing the chords. So to start with, I say start with your chords and then play the melody. We're going to try back and forth a little bit to show you how fun it is just to go back and forth with the melody. I'll start off with chords. This song has three verses. First one's hurry drive the fire truck. The next one is hurry climb the ladder. And the next is hurry squirt the water. It's fun to start playing it and then go faster and faster as you go to the end. Let's try that. That's kind of fun. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. you can go on that one but to start with don't worry about getting fast start real slow you just come up there and practice slow at first to get how it goes here's just one real slow for you hurry, hurry. Practice real slow, keep it nice and steady, and also the uh, the melody part. You don't worry about trying to learn the melody right now if you don't want to, but if you do want to, I mean, I'll do that real slow just to show you. So here's the thing, once we get to the three chord songs, there are hundreds and hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of songs that just use three chords. And in our next video, we're going to show you three chord songs using the chords that you already know now. The D chord, the A chord, and the G chord. We only showed you the cheat G, but we're going to show you the whole thing next time. And those three chords, we can play lots and lots of songs. Once again, we want to make this so easy that anybody will want to play. So, subscribe to our videos, and we'll see you on the next one.